Hi everyone, welcome to System DLL Tech. In today's video, I'll show you how to fix the missing packet.dll error. Now, this error is usually caused due to the DLL file being either corrupt, missing, or is deleted. But don't worry, I'm going to explain three proven methods to help you fix this DLL error. Let's look at each method in detail. The first method is to manually download the packet.dll file. To do this, open the link that you find in the description of this video. Next, scroll down to the section where you can see different versions of the DLL file. Now before you start with the download, make sure you refer to the OS column first. Choose the version and download both 32 and 64 bit DLL file. Once the files are downloaded, then you need to extract both the DLL files. Next, open C drive, Windows folder. Here you need to find two folders basically, system32 and 6wow64 folder. As you can see, both the folders are present here. Now, the 64-bit file needs to be placed in the system32 folder. And the 32-bit file needs to be placed in the syswow64 folder. Now, if you have a 32-bit Windows system and you don't see a syswow64 folder, then place only the 32-bit file in the system32 folder. Once all these steps are complete, restart the PC and start the application again to see if the error is fixed. Before you start with the installation of Visual C++ Redistributable, you need to find out if your OS is 32 or 64-bit. To do that, click on the search icon on the taskbar and type system information. Open the first result and next to system type you'll be able to find this information. Next open your browser and open this Microsoft link. I have again shared this link in the description of this video. If you scroll down you can see x86 and x64. x64 refers to 64 bit and x86 refers to 32 bit. So I'll open this link and download the vc++ redistributable file once the download is complete i'll start with the installation just accept the terms and select install once installation is complete close this window and run the program again to see if the dll error is fixed now even after installing the latest version of VC++ Redistributable, you still face the DLL error, then you can try installing the previous versions of VC++ Redistributable packages. To do this, open Microsoft website and now this is a different link, again I have shared this link in the description of this video. If you scroll down, you can see 2012, 2010, 2015 and 2013. You can try installing all these versions. Now the logic behind this method is that couple of DLL files come with the previous versions so installing all these packages will help you fix the DLL error. System File Checker is a powerful tool that fixes any Windows related errors including DLL errors automatically and it comes by default in Windows 11, 10, 8, 8.1 and 7. Now to run the SFC scan click on the search icon on the taskbar and type CMD. You need to open command prompt in administrator mode, so select run as administrator. Please enter the following command. As you can see here, the SFC scan has begun and it will take quite a couple of minutes to complete. So you need to wait patiently and once it is complete, you can restart your system and run the application again to see if the error is fixed. Once you've completed all these steps, you should be good to go and your application should now run without any missing DLL error. Do tell us in the comment section which method worked out for you and if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to ask us. Hope this video was useful for you and thanks for watching.